Hello, my favorites. Happy Monday. It is beautiful outside, and I am excited to share with you what I'm about to say. We are finishing up our Civil War unit for social studies. Ah! We have one unit left in social studies for the end of the year. That's it. And so I thought it would be perfect this week to spend some time doing my favorite thing, which is a project about the Civil War. So I created this document. It's, sorry, I'll get it, don't worry. Two pages long, well, I guess three pages long with choices of your project. Now this is in the content section under social studies and for my class, Civil War. Um, and so I wanted to explain to you how this works because it might be a little confusing. So if you want to pull it up, that's fine, or you can rewatch this video after you look at it. But the first page, this whole first page right here, is all basically how you're going to share it. Okay? So you have to pick one, two, three, four, or five off of this front page. Number one is like a model or a diorama. So for those of you in my class, or maybe you saw the fifth grade, they did the dioramas of Hooverville. Ethan got like little figures and he created the shacks out of popsicle sticks. I mean, it took us almost two weeks to do it, y'all. So I'm not talking like a little cardboard box where you draw stick figures and you're done in an hour. I'm talking about a project. I mean, you're almost fifth graders, so getting ready for this, okay? Um, I want you to put a lot of research into this. There's tons of pictures you can Google. You're at home now, so like the world is open to you. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you can do a PowerPoint. Think about the PowerPoints I make. They are all on the content under my section for my kiddos. Um, I put pictures on them, little words, big picture, lots of slides, colored backgrounds. You know how we do it up. And so I want that to be in your head if you choose number two. Number three is a video presentation. And we have watched that A Kid Explains History. Olivia just thinks he's like the smartest. Um, he's like maybe eight or nine and he goes through an event in history. So if you go to YouTube and... Um, type in a kid explains history you'll see what I mean for this one you have to have a lot of background knowledge and maybe even some background behind you um, but it's a way that like you can even upload it to YouTube and you can teach about it especially those of you that love history you know it's like storytelling that's why I love it and so um, there's that number four you can create a song this is always my favorite I will never forget Brooke and Gabriel's songs for the last project um, but it's just like the Mr. DeMeo on YouTube the multiplication songs you're gonna take a song that we all know and you're gonna put words to it to explain an event um, and we're gonna go over what the events are so that's four. and number five is you're gonna create a drawing now this is for my artisty type kiddos this is not something that you're gonna do on lined paper that's going to take you 15 minutes and you're going to be done and it's going to be all drawing with no color. No, like I want this real deal. I'm thinking about like Natalie, how she painted that portrait that time. I'm thinking about Julia, how she designed that whole Susan B. Anthony book. Like I want really good in-depth drawing that shows lots of details, whether you paint it or charcoal or oil pastels. Like I want a lot of time put into this. So those are the five things and you're going to pick one of those. And then you're going to flip it over to the back okay and on the back is the things you're going to choose to talk about and you're going to pick one off the back so um, our choices are option a is the battles campaigns and events so we talked about the fort sumter and the gettysburg address and the atlanta campaign and the march to the sea by sherman in the appomattox courthouse those are the events and whatever you do you're going to talk about all those events in your thing so you're not going to pick one, but if you pick option A, you're going to talk about all of them. So your diorama would have to have all of those. Or you can do lots of little different dioramas. If you did a PowerPoint, you'd have to talk about all of those. If you did a drawing, all of those. Okay, so again, all of them. All right, if you choose option B, you're going to talk about Uncle Tom's Cabin and John Brown's raid on Harper's Ferry. Remember that? And then I want you to talk about how that kind of started the Civil War off. Okay, option C. We talked about states' rights and how the federal government was trying to say that um, slavery is a United States thing and the southern states were saying, no, it's a state thing. And then we talked about slavery and how that increased tension. So you can somehow explore that in one of the different ways, the states' rights and the slavery and tension, okay? And then letter D is the effects, which we talked about last week, the effects on the north, the effects on the south. So this would be the after the war piece, okay? So you're going to pick away on the front. 
You're going to pick A, B, C, or D on the back, and you are going to create a masterpiece, and you have the whole week. And then the last thing that you have to do is, um, in content, there's a blank map of the United States. Everybody has to have two things done. You have to have your project, and you have to have this blank map of the United States with all of these things labeled on it, okay? You have to, if you don't remember, look back in your notes or Google it, and you will find where to put them on a map, okay? If you hand in just the project, then you will get points off for not doing the map. If you hand just the map, not the project, you will lose major points. Y'all, this is a grade for social studies. Um, and this is what we would be doing if we were at school or at home. So this is showing me everything that you know. This is making my heart super proud because I have poured into you my love of the Civil War. And you're going to show that to me. And we can move on the next week to Reconstruction, okay? You know if you have any questions, let me know. But I wanted to take a minute to explain to you this project, okay? I love you all very much. Have a great week. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye.